Ladies and gentlemen, what's up? This is BC. Welcome back uh, to another video. The couple installments that I have for you this week um, are a little bit behind uh, with my video editor, so I wanted to jump on here a few hours before my next video is going to release and give you this one just so we can stay in the loop of continuously giving you content, right? A couple of things I want to discuss, right? I see a lot of, um, you know, and we've been seeing this shift the last couple months because most of the people that follow me are like in the entrepreneurial world, business world, real estate world, sales world. And because the economy has been shifting, a lot of people's attitude has gone backwards. Uh, a lot of all that extra enthusiasm and motivation and positivity and all that has gone out the window because for a lot of people that's external, it's not internal. Meaning uh, because everyone's like, yay, we're making money, they ride off that. But now that all of that came to a screeching halt because of the shift in the economy, inflation, and some of these other factors, it seems like the wind has been taken out literally out of every uh, everybody's sales. So I wanna talk to you guys about some important stuff that you can apply um, to your career, to your life or whatever it is, okay? One is this, regardless of what's happening externally, right, internally, you need to get to a point where you're constantly cultivating this attitude and this, we can say, you having the ability to emanate this unbreakable type of, we can say, aura, right? If we're, we're going to put any words on it, right? I don't want you to get caught up in the words, but this aura of almost invincibility. Not that we're invincible, because we're not, right? Because there's obviously things outside of our control, but cultivating this internal garden of your mind, your attitude, your energy, your self-talk, all these things to the point where, again, that ecosystem internally is fed and cultivated, watered, built, you know, trimmed by you, maintained by you. We can go to the outside, of course, for shifts internally and all these things, and I recommend you do because that's how you learn, that's how you grow. But ultimately, the one who controls all of it any deviation, right? Fluctuations in your emotions and all that, more than ever now has to be almost entirely internal. Now, does that mean we can 100% block the outside and our environment and all that stuff? No, and I still recommend you work on it, the basics. But you need to get to the point where you're unbreakable internally, okay? This is a lifelong journey. Am I there yet 100%? I don't think so. I'm getting closer every day though, to the point where I can't have a level of calm and poise emotional tranquility, stability, and all these things that people have been searching for, I feel every day I'm getting closer and closer to getting to that ultimate level. Now, will I ever? I don't know. But that's the quest and that's the journey. This is what allows you, regardless of what's happening, occurring, you know, outside of you, whether it's the economy, the people closest to you, circumstances in your business, whatever, you still stay good, stable, grounded, which is what you want, okay? This is what allows you to rise above gossip, chaos around you, and just maintain order. It's like you're the eye of the storm. I've talked about that before, right? And, and that needs to be a continuous focus of yours, all the time. And especially now, this is the first time we're seeing it tested for a lot of people, because now a lot of things outside of the control, especially in the business world, are working against them actively right now, right? That's number one. Number two is this. Can you see the opportunity in your life, in your business with what's going on right now? Can you? I can. I've been waiting for this moment. If you remember, if you've been following me for years, you know, I've been saying I'm waiting for the economy and the market to turn because that's when we're going to clean up. That's when I'm going to step out and take a bigger piece of the pie. All right. Everyone else is running away. We're doubling down. Right. I'm growing my businesses. I'm putting more into my team, more into my personal brand. I mean, those wheels are turning and we're already seeing growth. Right? So if you're watching this and you're not growing or you stagnated or you're going backwards, well, you need to fix it. Right? You need to be able to spot these opportunities that we see. Like as an example, a simple one. Right? right now what we're seeing in a lot of spaces where people advertise or promote their business, again, because of the tightening of the economy, they're pulling back and they're cutting advertising expenses, lessening the investment in their business while we have increased that amount. Well, you know, we don't know, it's a risk. Well, there's always risk. See, but I know I'm more likely to win now because less people are doing it. Everyone else is running the opposite way. You see? Now, we can sit here and, and well, I don't have the money yet, that's fine. You may be 
are not in that position right now, but there's other categories where you have to start seeing these opportunities. This is why it's vital you guys get around the right people and, and start exposing yourself to the right ideas, right? And, and really taking it to that level because then you'll learn. Then you'll be in the right place at the right time to be given this information and learn it. But again, if you stay doing what you're doing in the position that you're in, in most cases right now, everything is virtual for people. Real estate, dating, everything is apps, online. Dude, like we have to be able to go beyond it. This is why like the live events that I do for even my coaching is, hey, come in person. I really push people and I get a lot of people in a room because I know that's one opportunity for them to, to do this more than all the other opportunities that they may have as well. But you have to really get out there and move and shake, y'all. You gotta get out of your house. You gotta get out of your office if you have one, your home office especially. You gotta go out and interact with the world. There's a ton of opportunity there and a lot of people are sitting behind on their phones messing around. And real life is not YouTube. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Anyways. Take that step, right? Because now more than ever, and this is kind of the third point, it's gonna require something new and more out of you. Whatever you were giving before, even if it was working, now more will be required, right? Even in your basic efforts, talking to people, reaching out, emailing, going out there and talking to people in person, canvassing, advertising, you're going to have to do more and accept it, that's okay. Why is there so much resistance when it comes to this stuff? Remember, life is dynamic. There's no stagnant state in the universe, right? You're either getting better or getting worse. The economy is getting better or getting worse. There's no like just stagnation. It's going up or down, left or right. Like it's never the same, right? Just like if you look at the wave, right? Look at the heartbeat and all that, right? The graph goes like that. It's never just like this unless you die. So it requires a level of flexibility and versatility on your behalf to roll with the punches and go. But the less time that's spent talking about that, complaining about it, worrying about it, and then there's more strategizing and implementation and then actions, things start to change. Because regardless of where you're at right now, whether you started in your particular business or field two years ago, five years ago, 10 years ago, today, yesterday, last week, Everybody's gonna to have to make a change. Everybody's gonna to have to adjust. And it's not that it was easier before or harder now. It's just different circumstances, right? But remember what I said in the beginning. How are you viewing these things? Because the last thing I wanna wrap this up with is you have the choice at the end of the day to view all of this, my content, anything that you read about, watch, either in a positive light or a negative light in regards to how it affects you, your life, your business, you know, whatever the number one priority is right now. So let's say I have a couple clients turn their backs on me. Okay, well I can sit there and again, cry about it, complain about it, take a negative perspective on it or see it as something positive. Now for a lot of us, we default to negative because that's the world. And as much as I've said this a million times at this point, this is a lost art for most people. You've heard it before, you know you're supposed to do it, but you don't actually do it. And Forget discussions with people. I'm talking about up here, the self-talk, this world, because this is where you spend most of your time. It's just not conscious most of the time, right? This is just chitter chatter that's going for most people and it's not with awareness and consciousness most of the time, right? So th this, this has to be fixed. You need to be active about that. That alone will eradicate most of the problems you have about lack of motivation, energy, uh, drive, feeling distracted, like all that gets eliminated when this starts to fix and improve. So make that a point after watching this video, this will be improved, that'll be your homework. Improve this, become more aware and improve this. How can I refine my language? How can I make it better? How can I turn a challenge obstacle speed bump that I'm running into and at least see some benefit from it? Meaning when I finish this, when I conquer this, I will be stronger, I will be more skilled, I will be better. So let's get excited about that and tackle it from that perspective, right? Because now the juices get flowing and things change, right? You have to develop and change as a person. I've been saying this since the beginning, right? But everybody still runs to the techniques and stuff, which again, are important, but you have to change. This is what allows somebody to take the blueprint and one takes it to millions of dollars and the other one doesn't do much with it. It's the individual. The individual is more developed and evolved, the one that's taking it to a million versus the one who isn't because the blueprint stays the same. The action steps stay the same. The success path is the same. None of that stuff is different. It's the individual that's different that uses it and implements it. 
that's it. Okay, so we'll continue with the regular schedule programming soon. That's it for this one, y'all. Check out all the links below. Check out the coaching courses and all the stuff we have to offer. You can check out our Discord link. You can get on the email list as well as we have exclusive offers for people on the email list. And if you're interested in Real, my new brokerage, uh, you can reach out. You can fill out your application, whatever you want. All right, see ya.